2022 has been an incredible year. Dreams have come true. That's difficult, Jill. <laughs> yeah, she's interviewing the trophy. The trophy was really happy to be home. When I started uh, last year, September 21, I just hoped everything would go well. And of course you have dreams and you want to, yes, you go into it to, to win the Euros, but you also know it's going to be really, really hard. But then when it does happen and we win the Euros, well, as you might have seen right after the final whistle, I was just very flabbergasted and overwhelmed that, wow, we just did it. Yeah, well, this one's nice. You know, we had, um, this is the staff with the Arnold Clark Cup. As a start, we said we need this Arnold Clark Cup to get to the next stage and we need to get some setbacks and some really testing games against tier one countries. So you come to the second picture here where we, the team gets the trophy. Yeah, this was very enjoyable. Uh, such a high profile tournament and we won it and it showed our, our team that we could do uh, really well against top countries. Well, and this, you know, Millie, she won the golden boot. She tied with, uh, with Alexia, and, um, but she got this boot. So it, it showed that she played a really good tournament and she scored goals too. And in, in the first place, she's not there to score goals, but she showed what kind of stable person she was in the team and the consistent performance she had. It actually doesn't matter who scores the goals as long as we score the goals, but when someone gets a hat-trick or gets a 50th goal, we're really, really proud of that performance of the player. We help each other and we support each other and that's why people can shine or players can shine in the team and that's what's really strong in this team. Yeah, so throughout the year, um, Leah became the captain. She led the team really well. She grew in her in her role and I think um, she played an incredible good Euros and was an outstanding captain. The milestones in the team, you know, we're really proud of players. So it shows some consistency when you have your fifth year cap. Uh, that is a milestone and, and we show that how proud we are on the players that reach that and I hope they reach more and more players to come. Well, um, we were really ready for this game. We had been waiting for this game for a long time and we beat uh, Austria with 1-0, which was a great start and we really needed that start. Sold out, so the support of the fans were just incredible there in a very, very nice stadium. And throughout the whole tournament, we got so much support from our fans and it was really the 12th woman for us. I think the Spain game was um, is one of the most impressive games I've been part of. The whole team knew what the plan was. We practiced at the Arnold Clark Cup a scenario where we had to um, we had to score a goal. So we scored the 1-1 one -one, and then we had the momentum and after that in the extra time um, Georgia scored the 2-1 and, and we, 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 we took the win with us. But I was so happy after this game and very emotional. In the Sweden game um, we didn't start well. Then we came into the game and of course it was very important the first goal we made with that. Uh, that Mead scored that first goal and that really helped the team getting into this game. And then of course we scored uh, three more goals and one of them was Alessia's goal. Alessia found that she has, should have scored that first shot and she got actually a little angry. But then she did something phenomenal and she had the back heel. And for everyone that was a big surprise is for the Swedish defense, for the goalkeeper. And it went in and like the whole stadium went crazy and so did we. And, um, yeah, it was something phenomenal and really, really nice. Yeah, that was so funny. I, I actually um, like this picture because everyone was so happy. And you see, I'm, I'm almost hanging <laughs> hanging on the Nikita's shoulder. I was trying to tell him, now keep concentrated, keep this score and manage the game. But I really could not reach them. They were so happy. After, I think this is about 45 minutes after the game, um, just sitting down overthinking the game, still thinking, oh wow, we just won the Euros and just relaxing a little bit, just looking around, still people in the stadium, uh, everyone really happy and just relax for a moment and smile. <laughs> yeah, Marion and nice moves. This was a funny moment, a party moment. Yeah, you can tell, yeah, it's time to party. When you win the Euros, it's just time to party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's typical Jill. <laughs> Yeah, she's interviewing the trophy. The trophy was really happy to be home and just enjoying herself and being funny.
standing up at Trafalgar Square with the whole team, players and staff, and the fans behind us at Trafalgar Square. It was just an amazing moment and everyone was so happy. It all came together. So this is a very impressive picture. Very nice. Yeah, the togetherness of the team was so important. I think everyone accepted her role. They all gave their everything. The standard and the level of the training was so high that we really actually chased each other to do better every, every single moment in training. When we had to substitute, every player that came in was ready to perform and ready to take, to take the team to the next step. I think the fans felt that we really appreciate them coming to watch us in the stadium. And then you have to connect, you have to wave. And, and, and go around the pitch after every game. So yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, after the Euros and, and when we uh, and we qualified in September for the World Cup, we had two other uh, international windows where we played friendlies. So I think the team after the Euros, having a short amount of time to rest and then going into this game as the European champion, those are hard games. And when we played the US, it was really incredible, it was sold out just, uh, in one day, I think. And you can see now the crowd just walking to the stadium. And it's just a very proud moment. And uh, we showed ourselves again that uh, we can also win uh, top level countries when we are doing our best. The generation before us and the first generation, they really, they, they, they really made the path way for us. And we should never forget that and we should celebrate that together. We said we want to inspire the nation. That's absolutely what we did, I think. So now you see little girls and boys having shirts with names of our players on their backs. And they see now that they, become, they can become a professional player or a professional coach. Yeah, well, this is the letter that our team wrote the day after we won the Euros and it shows how social conscious they are and that besides wanting to perform at the highest level, they want to use their voice to address some things. And this letter just, you know, they want to change society and now they're still in contact. There's still discussion going around by creating access for every girl to football or sports at younger ages and how, how powerful this can be. It's, it's really, I'm so proud of the players. Well, 2022, of course, was a very memorable year. We'll never forget winning the Euros, changing society. Hopefully for next year, we can, we can keep up with our performances. We sustain successful, we sustain performing. And yes, of course, we have a dream. We're going to the World Cup and we want to do that really, really well. And hopefully it works again.